Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jess. I was gonna say queen because you know we're all queens on this channel. <laughs> Today's video is something that I love and I think I did a video similar to this but this video is a bit more simpler in depth and especially for you. How to be confident. How to be confident. The art of being your beautiful self. Let's get to the video. So for most part of my life, I would show up not as myself. I always felt like, especially when I was younger, I would be so embarrassed. So I would kind of just let everyone do their thing. I, I remember in my other video, I'll link it up here. I spoke about how I used to get bullied and teased a lot. So I kind of just had this, I guess, idea that I should never really say anything and I wasn't worthy. So everyone's opinion of me always made me feel like more validated to how I actually felt inside, if that makes sense. So let me let me know if that makes sense to you. <laughs> now I show up and I'm like, this is me, love, love me or hate me, all good, but I'm gonna still be me. And it came, it took me a very long time, 25 now, it took me like 23 years, or well, obviously I was a baby, so not really that long, but most of my life just kind of validating everyone else's opinion of me and making sure that everyone else was okay and I would always put kind of myself last even though I would make it out like I put myself first I never did and it was very tiring and draining always being someone else especially when you go home you're just like oh I just need a break I just need a break especially in this time in social media where people are meant to be social but everyone is anti-social because we're on our phones we're just scrolling we're just looking through things it's very misleading and misguiding. The good and bad thing about social media is you can be whoever you want to be on social media. Now, let me explain. So, the reason why it's good is because if you're having a bad day and you want to feel a bit better about yourself, you post something good about yourself and that will kind of make you feel better, especially when you're getting positive feedback from that. Although, let me be honest, no matter how good we are having a day, we're not all living our truth on social media. So, for example, I have been doing this a lot lately because I want people to know that it's okay. So when I don't go to the gym for a while, I'll take a photo and I'm like, I haven't been to the gym in a while. When I used to always be like going to the gym, you know, feeling good, feeling fit. And like, I was just really skinny. I never really ate. Funny enough, a lot of people would compliment my body and say, oh, you're too skinny. Oh, girl, you know, you look so good, blah, blah, blah. And I felt kind of insecure because I've never really, I have been that skinny before, but it felt unhealthy and I felt more like sick and depressed as opposed to fit if that makes sense so i had to switch that but a lot of people sit there and say eating healthy but they're eating a pizza i used to always be like oh yeah i'm eating greens i'd eat my greens and i'd have a chocolate after and i would not even feel bad about it because i love chocolate just remember that you are enough no matter how you choose to show up no matter what you want to say no matter what you want to do you are so enough and don't let anyone or anything externally ever make you feel less than so let's get into how we can totally be ourselves and be free from all the judgment because that's what you came here for number one stop seeking validation from others and stop asking their opinion <laughs> I don't think you understand how much that resonates with me. Comment down below if that resonates with you. When we are consistently asking people for validation, we are demonstrating a lack of trust in ourselves, in our thoughts, in our beliefs. And what does that lead to? More insecurity. Because when you don't trust yourself, it just keeps spiraling out of control. Tell me this. Let, let me know in the comments below if you have ever done this. Because I used to do this very long ago. I don't do this anymore. But I just do. So... I used to take a photo of myself and I'd like it, right? And then I'd put it on Instagram and it wouldn't get that much likes. It wouldn't get that many comments. Probably like three comments. I remember once I posted a photo that I was like, damn, Jess, like you really went there. And it didn't even get as much engagement as a lot of my other photos and I was so upset. So I deleted it. And I'm like, why the hell would I delete that? Because I was seeking validation from others. And now I don't care what photo I put up. If I like it, I'm going to put it up and I'm going to leave it there because that's something that I wanted to post, whether it gets a lot of likes or not. I like it, it makes my feed feel good, it makes me feel good, so it's staying there. It's staying, it's not going nowhere. This is my biggest thing. People can share an opinion of you, but if you think that that opinion is true, you're gonna care. So a lot of people used to say a lot of things to me consistently, I always try to put me down, and I used to actually feel down because really in myself, I didn't feel I felt like what they were saying was validating how I already felt and them saying it was like, oh my God, it's actually true, it's actually true. And I was like that for such a long time in my life. You have no idea how many times I used to cry after I would go somewhere and someone would say something and like, oh, I'd get so offended because it felt 
felt true, right? But now because I'm working on myself every day and I'm trying to affirm what I already know, I'm like, you can say what you want. Put it, put it, let's put it an example, right? If someone wants to call you ugly, but you think you are, you are so her, you are the queen. You know you are looking fresh all the time, or you look great, right? And then someone's like, oh, you're ugly, or you're not really my type, or whatever. You'd be like, that's cool, you know, that's fine. <laughs> like, I already know I, I look good. You don't have to think I look good too, because I know I look good, and that's, that's all that matters, right? It won't ever affect you, which is so overpowering. Like, you will literally feel, like a wash of non-careness on yourself and it feels so freaking good. You become so unbothered by people's opinions that you don't even really, like when they say something about you, good or bad, you'd be like, cool. Like people used to always say to me, oh Jess, like I love you with straight hair, have straight hair. I know it's so ironic because I have straight hair today, <laughs> but it was for a birthday. But I, 98% of the time I leave my hair curly. I'm like, cool, thank you. I'm gonna go wash it so it can be curly. I love my curls and no one and nothing is gonna stop that because I already had straight hair and I used to think that was maybe normal, but I love my curls, that's how I was made and that's something that I love to embrace, so I'm gonna keep them. You don't like them, that's okay. But you become so unbothered when you start really focusing on yourself and really starting to love everything about yourself. There's gonna be things that we don't like, but we'll get to that in a second. Stop asking people's opinion and then get offended when they give it to you. Let me tell you something. If you're asking, I saw this one girl on um, social media, she asked someone for an opinion of which dress she should wear. She liked both, but she really liked another one. And everyone was like roasting her for this dress which all right was slack but you still ask their opinion and then she turns around and says oh they're haters they're jealous they're this they're that but you can't ask someone for their opinion and then get offended i know a lot of girls would say like ask their boyfriend oh babe i used to be like this i used to be like dave do you like this do you like that no i don't really like it and then i would take it off but i liked it so when you think about it if you like something don't even worry about what anyone else has to say because you like it you're gonna wear it for you right like that's the whole point of being yourself being authentically yourself is you do stuff for you and like i understand that if someone likes something and you're trying to please them maybe you do a bit more for that but don't just change yourself just to to make someone like you because then you're going to end up being so lost and confused because you don't even know who you are anymore and you're just kind of spir spiraling into this fake persona of someone that you don't even know who it is you know what I mean? Number two, and I always say this, this is the biggest thief of all joys. Stop comparing yourself. Now, I sometimes do this, but when I do, I catch myself and I'm like, Jess, don't you dare, don't you dare. Stop that right now. Stop that right now. I literally tell myself off <laughs> because that is not what I am about. I want you to remember that whenever you're scrolling on Instagram and you're looking at someone like, oh my God, she's so perfect. Just remember this, Kim K, even probably compares herself to other people. She's probably like, oh, that, that person's size is smaller, or this is smaller, or that's small, or that's bigger, or their face is more flawless, or whatever the case is. We're always comparing ourselves to someone else because there's always someone that we think is better than us, right? But if we take a step back and we realize that we are made to perfection because God made us, and we are made to grow and learn, why would you compare yourself? Why would you want to compare yourself to someone when you're so unique yourself? Just remember that it is human and it is normal to compare yourself to people because I do it, it's normal. But just because it's normal doesn't mean we need to do it, right? Especially on social media, it is a trap. It is all a trap for you to compare yourself. Why? Because think about it. We've got likes, we've got followers, we've got comments, we've got shares, we've got aesthetics, we've got so many filters now. So it's like, Mm, that looks that person looks great. I wonder if they're using a filter. You don't even know if someone's photoshopping or using a filter And I've done a video about this up below up below <laughs> check it out in 2021 We are only doing things that are helpful for us. Give us a big thumbs up if you agree Queens Because yes, we are leveling up <laughs> Comment below if this has ever happened to you because this has happened to me um, Especially when I was in a really low space I would go on social media and I would see all these people having great days. They're on vacation well, Obviously now they can't but you know They'd be out, they'd be, you know, with their amazing friends, big group of friends, doing amazing things. And I'm just sitting there all by myself, like, oh my God, I had a good day and I thought I was like fulfilled. And now I'm looking at this, like, oh my God, my life is like not even where I want it to be. Da, da, da. And you start to feel so depressed and upset. And then it's like, oh my God, it's like a whole spiral of a schnitzel. And I just feel like the more we start comparing ourselves to people and their lives, when we don't really even know what is going on in their life, the more we're gonna actually be more depressed and we're not gonna be able to fulfill our purpose in life, right? 
We all have a purpose in life and we all have a path, our own lane, our own path and our own journey. And the more we start focusing on other people's paths and journey, the less we're going to actually be able to fulfill our own. And why would you want to do that? Why would you want to waste time? Why would you want to look back at your life when you're like 70 and be like, oh my God, for like five years of my life, I was comparing myself to this person and now look at me. You know what I mean? Like, don't. We're never getting this time back, honey. You don't want to waste it. If you ever compare yourself to others, I want you to say this. Name is not my competition. Name is not in my lane. Name is not going to where I want to go. And even if their destination is where you want to be, it's not the exact spot because you always want different things, right? Now three, embrace what makes you different. I always talk about this, but you are the only you. There is no one in this whole world like you. And we need to start embracing that more. Being you is your power because no one in this whole billion people of worlds, right? Or one world by a billion people is you. And that is the best thing in the whole world, right? There are like thousands of people these days that look like Kim K, but there is only one Kim K. There are thousands of people that look like, you know, I don't know, Jessica Alba or Angelina Jolie or Lady Gaga or whoever it is, but there's only one of them. And that's what makes them so special, right? Even the Ariana girl, that, that girl that looks so much like her, but that she's still not Ariana. She's just someone that looks like her, right? She has her own identity. Please don't mind Badlulu. She is currently having a little, little moment. So like I was saying, not everyone is gonna like you and that is totally okay. As long as you like you, I feel like that's the main thing. So please don't be discouraged. My other thing, Balu was stop focusing on things that you don't like. For so long, I would always focus on my stomach being so like out there. I always had a little pouch and no matter what I did, it was just always there and it stressed me out as well as my arms. Oh my God, don't get me started on my arms. But I felt like the more I'd focus on it, the more that's all I'd notice. So now I don't focus on that anymore. I focus on the good things that I like. I focus on my eyes because I really like my eyes. Even though they're not blue, I like them. Trust me, honey, it's what you magnify that comes to life. So if you want to start magnifying good things, then all your beauty, that's what you're going to see more of. The more you think about and magnify the things that you don't like, that's all you're going to notice. And trust me, I am living proof of that. <laughs> Put your energy into good things, into things that you love. Put your energy into things that you are proud of and things that make you so unique. And that will just start to flourish more and more every day. The more faith you have in yourself, the more things will just start to grow. The more faith you have in everything. I truly believe the little things that matter. So for example, if you tell yourself you're going to do something really small one day, do it. And then you'll start being like, oh yes girl like I actually did that you start trusting yourself more and that becomes a beautiful spiral of amazing things and then you start having more faith and more abundance we are custom honey so we don't have to worry about nothing or no one else because we are made to perfection and that is that I love you all so much comment down below if this video has helped you give it a big thumbs up make sure to keep slaying and subscribe my queens I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye